Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into this uh, yet latest webinar briefing from National Weather Service Office in San Diego. We want to bring your attention to the potential for a major winter storm with heavy rain, snow, and wind for Thanksgiving week holiday and the weekend holiday, basically between November 26th and December 1st. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Let's take a quick look back at what occurred recently here, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday storm. Widespread heavy precipitation occurred across San Diego County with almost every location two to four inches, uh, about an inch or less on the immediate coast. Now, um, some of that spilled into the desert region too, such as Borrego Springs and the Coachella Valley. When you went further north, there was a hole in the precipitation was much lighter across central Orange County into uh, the Riverside area. But north of there, uh, the mountains did well with basically one to two inches of water. And that includes the Santa Ana Mountains getting up to about an inch of water. We had some impacts across the region. Some of it included locally heavy rain, fall rates of a half inch to three quarters of an inch. This is what uh, three quarters of an inch of rain per hour can do. Vista on the right hand side, Valley Center on the left hand side. Just to give you an idea, um, it's not just normal nuisance flooding. It, it can be a, a big impact. Across the mountain regions, a lot of this precipitation eventually fell as snow. We saw as much as 5 to 10 inches from Wrightwood to Big Bear area. The major snowfall of around 12, 13 inches was up around the Running Springs, Arrow Bear area. We even saw 1 to 4 inches across the Riverside and San Diego Mountains above 5,000 feet. What did we do for our water year precipitation? Well, we basically made up for an extremely dry zero start to the year. And much of Riverside County and San Diego County are now at normal or above for this time of year. Our friends to the north didn't do so well. In fact, precipitation really was near zero um, northwest of the LA area, and they have yet to see any significant precipitation this year. The desert areas did very well into the Colorado River Valley with basically widespread several inches of rain. What is the scenario setting up again? Well, upper level high pressure is not going anywhere as we talked about in the long range outlooks for this winter. And it's been there basically since May of 2019. But what this does create is the potential for very cold, energetic air to come down directly from the north like we saw Tuesday, Wednesday. The scenario coming up for Thanksgiving week looks even more impactful, larger, deeper, slower moving storm, and also a storm that could tap into tropical moisture or atmospheric river conditions. This is what we expect by next Wednesday. The upper level storm will be anchored right along the west coast and impacts will be beginning. Now the storm, like I said, will be slow moving and don't expect it to be out of here anytime soon. So lingering all the way into Friday and Saturday, a cold upper level trough. So unsettled showery conditions and low snow levels all the way into Saturday. Would this and could this be an atmospheric river? It does look like the potential uh, tapping into the tropical moisture that I mentioned is likely. Um, the setup with this storm as it's slow moving and strong and deep and creates a powerful southwest flow would bring those conditions into our area as late as um, as early as Tuesday night all the way through Wednesday and Wednesday night and potentially into Thanksgiving Day. Uh, when we get further out into Wednesday, when that storm system is right over Northern California, that probably could be the primest conditions for significant Southwest winds and atmospheric river and mountain heavy precipitation and even heavy precipitation developing in coastal areas on Wednesday and then potentially carrying into Thanksgiving day. And then after Thanksgiving and during Thanksgiving day, snow levels really start to drop significantly. Um, we look at a lot of different weather model data and there's really good agreement of, of not just a storm system, but a broad, large, major storm system and that producing some of the heaviest rainfall across California right here in the Southwest United States. Um, initial forecasts that were issued today looked like this, where we were expecting basically uh, two to six inches of precipitation. This forecast has actually trended even further upwards. 
So this is a long range forecast, but basically this is focused for the period of Tuesday through Saturday of next week. So right through um, the 29th of November. And I gave you a nice look in a zoomed up version of that same information. And you can see basically our favored areas because of the atmospheric river and strong southwest flows could receive as much as uh, six to 10 inches in the deep red area. Now for most areas, tents and purposes, two to four inches with some of our foothill areas easily getting over five inches of water. Widespread precipitation, not to leave out our desert areas either where we could see some significant spillover into the high deserts as shown here and even into the low deserts. A lot of that spillover could occur with the initial atmospheric river conditions Tuesday night through Wednesday night. The longer range outlook was issued and updated on November 21st. It still calls for most of our winter averaging out to being below normal because of this same weather pattern. Now the same weather pattern when those two lines intersect and merge, we see significant storms like we saw Tuesday and like we'll see Thanksgiving week. So that's still the wild card and still the potential for significant storms despite a also potential for drier than normal winter. Uh, warmer than normal conditions for most of this winter are still on tap. No changes to that just because we're dealing with a deep cold storm during Thanksgiving. Now for the month of December, we expect the weather pattern to continue to remain active, basically for energy to continue to dive out of the northwest. Whether or not that interacts with any tropical moisture remains to be seen, but that tropical moisture scenario is what could spell the potential for a major wet rain and snowstorm for Thanksgiving week. Here are the highlights. We just left a significant cold storm, especially for San Diego County. We're going to enter another significant storm for San Diego County, but it also looks like it'll impact Riverside, San Bernardino even more, and as well as Orange County this time. And the reason being is it's large, it's colder, it's slow moving, and it taps into an atmospheric river. The target period for precipitation is uh, late Tuesday, rolling through um, Wednesday, Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, and, and likely into Friday. Forecast relies heavily on this storm track and the interaction with that moisture. Initially, it looks like there'll be some really strong winds um, late Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving. When the colder uh, air comes in and things become more unsettled, and that'll carry us right through um, Thanksgiving Day and especially Friday and Saturday. Now, uh, the high wind potential also exists for the deserts with winds exceeding 60 miles per hour, especially between Tuesday and Thursday. Preliminary forecasts are for widespread one to three inches on the coast at the minimum, with locally three to five inches. For our mountain areas, minimum four to eight inches with locally uh, over 10. Anywhere could see rainfall rates of a quarter to three quarters, and that could begin as early as um, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, and linger as late as uh, Friday. Snowfall potential, it also looks big. Initially, snow levels will be high, up around 7,000, 8,000 feet Tuesday, Wednesday. But because this storm has so much cold air and so broad and so slow moving, uh, snow levels won't be a problem on the latter half of the storm, starting probably uh, Thanksgiving Day, rolling into Friday. Thunderstorms in the cold part of the storm as well. Um, and that would be you know the period from the 28th through December 1. Uh, flash flood potential looks real for urban, small, uh, urban foothills, valleys, all areas with the atmospheric river and also with the cold core of the storm on um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We could also see some high wind damage for this type of storm set up, so we've got to keep a close eye on that. Some of the winds could be really intense during the first part of the storm uh, on Wednesday. Here are some definitions that you should be aware of because likely we'll enter into flash flood watch and winter storm watch potential. Um, be sure to follow the weather at the link in the middle or you can follow it as we push information on Facebook and Twitter, uh, also posted on weather.gov. Please be safe. This looks like a major potential for a winter storm starting late Tuesday and with the core of the storm Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right during the heart of the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Please stay safe.